hi guys today you will learn how we can install g2 framework on windows machine with the help of composer so first thing you have to do is you have to download composer setup from the getcomposer.org download section in my case i already downloaded uh, composer so let me go to my download section you can run the composer setup run as administrator and now click next next you can skip the proxy URL so next install okay while composer is installed Let's go to download section of e framework. Okay, download e2. Search in Google and e framework.com download section page will be shown. Okay, since we are installing a composer, so let's go to this section. I think composer has been installed. Yes, it is. So finish okay now if you want to check our composer go to terminal and type composer command if a screen with this option appears it means composer has been installed in other case if composer command not found is shown it means not installed now let's run this command to install composer asset plugin so copy this and paste it here let's make some changes to this command we don't need php because we are not running it with php and remove the dot for so remove php now enter and let's run this command it will take some time so you have to be patient now that it has been installed uh, let's go to our root directory web root directory and let me create a folder for our website let me rename it as gcot enter now that our folder has been created you can copy advanced template or basic template in our case we are going to install the advanced template so let me copy this command and I want let me go to my web directory zamp htdocs now paste the command here I want to make three changes to this command remove php remove dot for next remove php and last thing I want to okay, provide the name of our website folder which is gcot so enter gcot here and press enter okay you have to be patient it will take some time okay during this installation it's at this point it will ask you for access token I have already created access token but in your case you have to go to github site and create an account there then you can create personal access token and a string will be shown you can copy that string and you will paste it here when the token uh, is asked for so once you paste it your installation will be proceeded in my case I have already provided so here it will not ask again for the token okay so it is still installing now downloading has been begun in my case I have previously installed in my system so the loading from cache 
message has been displayed. In your case, it will be downloading each module one by one. Okay, it's, uh, we are almost there and it has been downloaded completely so if we go to our website folder gcart this these are files have been downloaded next we have to go to our website directory gcart and here you can run php init command and it will ask you want to make development or production so we are developing development environment yes okay so it has been generated and if we go to our web directory gcart we can access our backend template from here web this is our backend template loading okay so this is our backend template and for front-end template this is our front-end template so this is how we can install G2 on Windows system if you like to my videos please subscribe to my channel thank you for coming to my channel